Hi guys, I'm back. I'm sick. I'm sorry about my voice. Uh, I have a surprise for you. I have two surprises for you. Just wait and see. Uh, but the first one is right in front of me, so let me show it to you. I'll give you a second to guess what it is. Alright guys, so the time to guess is up. I've actually had this thing for a little bit now. 2021 13. So I've had this box for a little bit. I'm not gonna say I'm the first one to have this. I've seen it on YouTube already. I've seen it everywhere, but I'm the guy you want reviewing this thing. First, let's get to what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Here, oh, here are all the wires for it and stuff. We'll go through these in a little bit. And I actually picked up some extras. I'll talk to you though. I'll talk to you about those in just a little bit as well. First things first. Oh, come on, box. Some little unbox therapy for you guys right here. There it is. There she is. So here we have, I think it's a 10.1 inch, 10.1 probably, um, touch screen for your Acura TL. So these buttons don't feel so cheap. These are, this is this is my first impressions video. So I haven't installed this thing. I'm gonna install it right now. I'm gonna show you on video what it's gonna take to install. And I have, I've, I know about the unit. I know about the unit, I've done my research. There are some bugs still, I'll explain those to you as well. But I just wanted to show you the unit as a whole. So here we go. Here are the buttons at the bottom, power, home, Bluetooth, forward and back, play and band. And then I believe that says mic. Nope, that says RST, not sure what that means. Oh, that's the reset button. And here's your mic. So this has a built-in mic and then a built-in reset button. And here's the entire unit. And let me get you a navigation unit to show you what it looks like next to it. There you are, there's your standard navigation in stereo. And here's what the replacement. So it's the exact same size. It's gonna fit in the dash the exact same way. You're obviously gonna have to transfer those buttons. So these buttons I'm referring to. Um, and those are just a couple of screws and then everything else should just work. Let me answer some questions now. This works for a unit with, so if your car comes equipped with navigation or doesn't come equipped with navigation, this will work. If you have a 2004 to a 2006, this will work. If you have a 2007 to, to a 2008, this will work. When you order, Make sure you only order off of AliExpress, the Navitech store. They're the original manufacturers of this unit. Everyone else is a reseller, so getting support will be tougher if you don't order from the original source. They patch the software on this, so you just want to make sure you get it from Navitech so that they can send you the latest software um, when it becomes available. This will work with a sub display. So if you have a 2004 to a 2008 without navigation, you can add the sub display to this at the top and um, you can add the sub display even though you didn't have it before. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you normally only have this sub display like so if you have navigation. When you add this unit, you can add this sub display. So that's what I'm gonna be doing to the vehicle we're gonna be installing this on. And this wire harness that comes from here down to that unit, you will have to make or I'm thinking about starting to offer it on our store. Let me know in the comments if you think that'd be a good solution for you guys, if you know so many people are thinking about doing it. Now I'll talk to you about the hardware that came with this thing or the wires and stuff. So the other people who have installed this unit, I don't know why they didn't take the opportunity to pick a couple other accessories up. So this accessory right here, I bought from Navitech also, you can also buy. It will allow Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to work uh, with this unit. Uh, so that's something we're gonna be exploring. And I also bought a backup camera. This backup camera is supposed to fit into the OEM uh, license plate uh, light and replace it. So it has LEDs. So this backup camera I also picked up from their store. And this is supposed to fit right into where the light for the license plate goes. Replace one of your license plate lights, as you can see, it has LEDs on it, so it still can give it light. And then it has the actual backup camera. So you just it's a little bit tricky how to wire this. You can see it has two power wires, so one's gonna go to the existing um, 
wires for the light and then the other ones for your actual backup camera all right guys so lastly is all the wires that come with the harness so let me show that to you after taking that tape off and looking at this connection uh this obviously will look familiar to some of you it is this connection that we sell so navitech hasn't figured out that this connector is possible or maybe they just didn't bother um but anyways this connector um i had to do my research to come up with it so i can tell that this wire here come on focus up this gray wire is our amp turn on so it's turning on our factory amp and then all the way on the right these first two uh pins those two white pins are for your center channel and then this green and this purple are for our subwoofer so i'd be curious to see if this actual has center channel sound if you're not losing that center channel and how they're doing that and then subwoofer is pretty standard uh but again as i dig in deeper and do the install i'll be able to figure that out um something else i wanted to show you was that they sent the 26 pin connection instead of the 40 pin, but they gave me a antenna conversion. It's only used for an 0708. So I'm gonna unpin that uh, and then I wanna see what's in here. So, so the antenna turn on is missing. I wonder why that is. So some if you get this kit, we might have really bad radio reception. And the reason why is there's no antenna turn on. So I might reroute that myself um, from, because here's your antenna power. Uh, so for some reason they ran it here instead of where it's needed on a 0406, which is over there. Um, so I might correct that depending how my service is. Uh, and then everything else is pretty standard. Just gonna hook up to the connections in the car and stuff. So I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get my car apart. I'm gonna start connecting stuff starts testing stuff out and then we'll go from there as always i take my time to do my research to do be very diligent about the things i put on this channel what i recommend so all i ask in return is you give the video a like subscribe follow us on instagram it takes no time at all it takes nothing away from you it doesn't cost anything and it's, it helps support us and it helps grow the channel so i really appreciate it if you did that um and i'm sure some of you have questions uh in regards to cost so everything that i showed you so far that the android <clears throat> apple carplay and the backup camera all this came out to about 650 bucks so this unit is not cheap this is first impression so don't watch this video and think i'm recommending this or telling you to buy it a lot of people have asked me about it i saw it myself i've been curious so i'm like you know what i'm gonna buy one i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna see if it's something i can recommend um the other thing is i'm the guy you want to checking this out so there's other people who have done reviews on this radio or put radios up put videos up about this radio the reason why i'm the guy you want this check checking this out is because so i have a oneplus 7 pro as my personal phone some of you are probably like what the hell is oneplus oneplus is a company that's been around for a little bit they compete against smartphone makers in the u.s they're chinese i also was trying out a zenphone 6 this is from asus i'm sure some of you are probably like what the hell is that i've never even heard of them um asus makes laptops they also make phones uh, this one was an all screen phone, so as you can see, give this thing a second to load. All screen phone, that's part of the reason why I got it. And then the other thing is, so it has a real gimmicky camera, watch this. So you can see, really gimmicky camera, but a good phone overall. Both these phones run their own versions of Android. Um, this has Oxygen OS, the OnePlus 7 Pro. Really recommend there. I could really highly recommend this phone. Very good phone. Uh, and then let me show you. Before the OnePlus 7 Pro, I had a OnePlus 7. No, I had a OnePlus 5. That's upstairs. Here's my Galaxy S5 that I broke the camera on and had for a long time. And here's the Galaxy S that I first originally had modded, uh, rooted. And so all I'm trying to say is I know Android pretty well. I've rooted Android. I've done a couple of things with Android. So I'm the guy you want reviewing this unit because I'll be able to tell you if it's slow, if it's fast, what's lacking, what applications will work, what applications won't work. And just so a good overview from the Android standpoint and how functional this radio is. Because a lot of Chinese radios tend to look good and work good for the first two days, three days. Then things start loading in the background and then it all goes to shit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this unit in the car for about a week. Uh, really, you know, test it out thoroughly and then I'll, I'll report back to you guys 
what I think um, this unit is worth, if it's worth what it's worth, uh, if in it, and if it's a good buy overall. But all right, guys, remember, I'm taking my time to do this for you. So make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. It helps the channel out a bunch. And that's it. I'm going to get started. Thank you. All right, guys, I apologize. I'm sick. I just wanted to, you know, I want to get this video out. So I'm doing it while I'm sick. But again, here's what I'm writing with now. I have my radio, which is a MVH S. 622 bs and then my tablet up here so this is very functional it works very well i have you know functional buttons that you can press an actual wheel knob for the volume which is huge i don't have to rely just on steering wheel controls and then i have a dedicated button for navigation when it's it's paired up with the app this is very functional it works you can enjoy the radio you can have the tablet on only when you want to. The only thing is it's a little finicky with turning on the tablet when it's supposed to and unlocking when it's supposed to. So the tablet's supposed to auto turn on and auto unlock. When I turn the car on, it doesn't always happen. Sometimes I have to reach up here, hit the button, and unlock it. So sometimes I have to reach up there and unlock it myself, which is really annoying to do. Um, so but overall, I'm pleased with this. It works. But again, I want to test that radio out. So I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to be removing. But if you're really thinking about a practical solution that's inexpensive, this radio is about $100. And then a tablet you can find for whatever. Uh, you can run Waze. If you give your, with a hotspot, you could give your tablet data and run music through it. Um, it's a very functional setup. You get functional buttons. That's something that I really enjoy, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you really enjoy too, is the actual functional buttons. A lot of radios are now doing away with that. The, the aftermarket radios do away with that, and it kind of degrades the experience. And then also just having a touchscreen down here makes it kind of tough because when you're driving, you're looking here and then out of nowhere, you want to do something. You have to look all the way down there. So it does take you away from the road. I know you shouldn't be doing things while you're driving, but it's just one of those hard truths. Uh, so this radio is going to sit right here. So it's almost at that eye level where it's not a big deal to look. But all right, I'm going to get this all taken apart and then I'll come back to you once I'm hooking everything up. Uh, if you want to see how to take this all apart or you want to put a radio in your car, check out our website, mobilemaxcaraudio.com. All right, guys, so you're just going to transfer those three screws. Make Those three screws are going to allow you to transfer this. Then the other three screws transfer this. This one's going to plug right in. Then this one's going to plug into the adapter that they gave you. Uh, and then I'll go from there. All right, guys, so here's the connection for power. Is that little, here's the connection for power. Uh, and your amp turn on, illumination, your standard connection. So that's gonna go right there. So we'll continue our connections. So now we're gonna do the ones to the board, which go here and here. You can't mix these up because they're only gonna go in a certain way. So that one's gonna go in there. This one's gonna go in here. Now here's what I talked to you about earlier, that this antenna connection isn't needed where it's given. Um, because it really should go here and not here because we don't have an 07. Uh, I'm going to see if that makes any difference uh, to the radio reception. But either way, this won't get used. Um, then these were hooked up to the other harness, which went here. Actually, I want to see what we get with just these. So I'm just going to hook this up and see what we get in terms of sound and stuff. All right, so this connection here. Oh, hold on, let me move you up so you can see. All right, so we made all the connections on the back. Now we're going to make all the connections to the car. So this is going here. Then this green plug, ooh, that one's really short, is going there. And that's all we'll hook up for now. All right, so all our connections for that are hooked up. Next is the ones into the vehicle. So again, that white plug you're never gonna use, it's for Sirius XM. This should give our unit power. And then this should give our unit sub amp turn on. Okay, then we have in our antenna, which is just a little bit short as always. So here we go guys, first impressions, let's see. Ooh, so there's definitely a humming coming out of all the speakers, it sounds like. But here we go. Here's a radio on. 
Let's go play some music. Actually, let's go to the radio. So our volume's up, but we have no sound. Um, that's strange. Our amp's turning on. Let me uh, check that out quickly. This is the original source of audio. This was going to hook up here. Usted podrá tomar libras de vitaminas. All right, guys. So I unhooked these earlier because I was wondering what they were for. So these are the actual lines of audio that feed to the entire vehicle. So it looks like this is audio in. It does some audio processing and it sends it all out. But this is where the primary audio source is coming from. Uh, but we're going to verify it right now. That's the case. Our hissing is gone. I heard our, our amp pop on though. Um, let's go back to the radio. Okay, so it went back to the radio for us. Uh, this radio station I know here should work. So it sounds like we don't have audio on one side. Okay. Alright guys, so so far off the bat, that dual doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let me check something out quick. All right guys, so here's the other part I was telling you about. This is that sub display that I told you that I would be hooking up. Uh, so I'm actually gonna do that now. This is kind of a two part thing. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. I will make a video on how to put this together step by step. Uh, right now, this is just a introduction to this unit, so I'm not gonna do all that. That's for ground. Um, this needs a ground. So then this on the back has a connection that you won't use if you don't have navigation but if you do that's where this connection from your vehicle will plug into there we go now this should have came up and there you go so there's my temp as you can see it's reflecting this so it says 29 because the temp on this is still broken uh let me see if i can turn everything off so off is turning off that side so it's only seem to be working on that side. It says AC off. Where's my AC? In okay. And flattens the abdomen. So my First clock is matching the time there, which is great because once I fix the time there, I'll set it. Uh, but your life. my climate control seems to be you off and not working correctly. So I'm hitting off, nothing's happening. Hitting mode, nothing's happening. If I hit mode here, nothing's happening. Nothing. Nothing. So it seems like our climate controls are, are not working correctly. Um, that's really not a setup issue. It's more of a software issue, so I'm not too worried about that. That will be taken care of. At Smithtown Vault. I don't know if you guys heard it before. It was clicking off like crazy. So I came in here to map my steering wheel buttons. Um, and it seems like you press the button, hold the key. Press the button, hold the key. And that's what seems to map it. All right, guys. So I have everything hooked up. And I'm ready to put it back together. And I'm like, hey. This isn't fitting. What is going on? Like, yeah, it fits, but it's there's no how do, how do I mount it? But what? Where did these go? And I have no answer, unfortunately. I'm not 100% sure. Normally, this would go something like here, but there's nothing to mount it to. Granted, they could have given us screws here. And that would have done it. But yeah, I'm going to figure something out. I'll get back to you guys. But I was just so confused there. I was like, how is this possible? Alright guys, so I'll admit this isn't my brightest idea. But I'm just using some uh, extreme hold. Extreme hold Velcro on both sides. And I'm just pressing it down. And using that to hold it. It seems sturdy enough. I mean, the other things will hold it in place. I just wanted something to mount it with. And again, very strange that 
this is what they chose to go with this method that they've implemented all right guys so my little velcro velcro trick did the job now i'm just gonna start putting it back together um there is a bit of a mess here but you could just tuck it behind the radio because there's so much space because it's so flat so i'm gonna finally get this all back together i hooked up all my antennas you can see that's still spazzing out i'm still getting some weird issues but i'm gonna resolve them and then i'll get back to you guys all right guys here it is i do have a little bit of a fitment issue um you can see here let me start the car so we have a little bit of wacky stuff can you see out there yeah so i don't know how well you can see on camera but my climate control is still going crazy so i'm just going to turn it off let me go to the android version that'll be the last thing i leave you guys with so here you could see we're running uh let me get you off there so sorry about the glare guys here you could see we're running android 8.10 uh there's our build number car application bt version can version serial number unknown um that's for you android guys now let me go back all right guys that's all i'm gonna leave you with uh for now if you stuck around this long uh there it is looks pretty good it sounds all right definitely at higher volumes you could see you could hear distortion so it makes me think that they're not sending a low level signal uh but i don't really know i haven't messed with anything else i haven't checked the navigation anything else you can see there are some bugs uh, I know on the forums people are working with uh, Navitech to get these resolved, but just know like this is one of the issues going on currently and there are other ones and this should all be fixed with software. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to do me a favor and hit that like button, uh, subscribe and then hit the bell so when I post the update on this probably a week from today, so next Friday or next Saturday, uh, you'll get uh, notified and you can check out my full review because again this was just kind of an unboxing installation first impressions uh, now I'm gonna drive around with it and I'll let you know how it all goes but thanks for watching guys and make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe hit the bell so you could watch out for the next video and again if you ever need anything for your accurate health uh, in terms of radio accessories make sure to reach out to me or visit our store mobilemaxcaraudio.com and don't forget to follow us on Instagram thank you